Hey guys, it's Sienna here from The Curious Chicks, and Carmen and I love to travel, and if you're watching this video, it's probably because you love to travel too. Traveling comes with a cost, right? And we all hate spending that much money, but we want to have fun, and how do you do that without spending so much money? You gotta plan. So today I want to talk about how to be smart with your money as you're planning your trip. Make it a rain, people. Make it a rain. I don't even know how to make it rain. <laughs> Start by finding a credit card with good travel rewards and no foreign transaction fees. Because who in their right mind likes foreign transaction fees? Charles Schwab is a good man. Instead of paying ATM fees, Mr. Schwab will pay for that. That's right, you never have to pay for any ATM fees anywhere you go, anywhere in the world. Just make sure to give yourself enough time to set up the account and get your debit card prior to your travel. Make sure to inform your banks and credit cards of your travel prior to departure to avoid any hiccups when you try to use your cards there. Take note of all the international phone numbers for your credit cards and debit cards, as well as the phone number to your bank. Don't let your travel costs get out of hand. Make a budget and make sure to stick to it. As soon as you decide where you're going, start tracking flight prices as soon as possible. You can try sites like skyscanner.com, Carmen's favorite is kayak.com. You can set up price alerts and do price comparisons across multiple sites. And there are even mobile apps like Hopper. Always check hotel rates directly with the hotel because sometimes they have better rates than third-party sites. And see if they accept AAA discounts if you're within the US, or sometimes by mentioning Rick Steve's book, you can get a discount at certain hotels. When booking hotels and large ticket items, check the cancellation policies closely. Sometimes you can secure a reservation and in the meantime, look for better rates elsewhere. If you know what activities you want to do at your destination, see if pre-booking the activities is cheaper than booking there. Don't get ripped off! Always be aware of popular scams that may occur while traveling. Don't be a victim. If you're traveling internationally, make sure to exchange a little bit of money prior to your trip so that you have some money for emergencies, for transportation from the airport to the hotel, or for food. Pull the bulk of your money while at your destination because the exchange rates are generally better. If this video was helpful, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have any tips of your own to share, please leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.